What's going on guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some different color palette generators that are available for free online. Color palette generators are super helpful in uh, obviously developing color palettes. And having a system that helps you efficiently generate different iterations of color palettes for the, whatever design you're making is super helpful. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first one we're gonna look at is one that I've actually shown on this channel before. Uh, it's called Coolers. Coolers is a really fun one. If you don't really know the exact direction that you want to go with your color palette, uh, it helps you quickly generate a bunch of basically like random colors that could potentially go together. So uh, once you get to the website, you just hit start the generator. And then this screen will get pulled up. And you'll see you have five different colors that uh, are randomly generated on the screen. And to quickly shuffle through them, you basically just hit the space bar and it, it'll rapidly change them. So say you like one of the colors, maybe you like this Venetian red, what you can do is uh, hit the lock button. Um, so again, if you want to generate another color after that, you just keep hitting the space bar and you can see that one locks in. So maybe like this deep space sparkle, you hit lock and you can keep shifting through. This isn't like anything specific, so we're just going to lock the rest of these to kind of save some time. Uh, and then once you find a color palette that you like and you're happy with it, and you've locked in all your colors, what you can do is come up here to export and export it as whatever file type you'd like. Usually I end up doing uh, just like a PNG file. Um, so we'll label this one, just test really quick. Uh, and then for the color space, you can do whatever you want, but usually I end up just doing hex. And then you hit export and you can download the file as a PNG and drag it into Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever you're designing it. So the next one we'll take a look at is actually canva.com. And to quickly get to this, you can type in canva.com slash colors slash color palette generator. Um, you can see it up in the top URL bar. Um, and Canva is really cool because if you have an image that you really like the colors within, you can upload it to Canva and it will generate a color palette based on the image that you upload. So let's give it a shot. We'll click upload image. So we'll just pick something from this folder of some mountain bikes that I shot. So say I like this photo. This isn't anything specific because again, it's just an example, but uh, basically you just click open and it'll upload the image to the site and develop a color palette based on that image. So for this, we have old rose, tan, dark olive, black, and rosy brown. And it's actually a really nice, solid, earthy color palette. So unfortunately with Canva, I don't believe you can actually export this anywhere, but it does give you the hex values right below and you can actually just click on them and copy that hex value to your clipboard and then, and then paste it into your color selector within Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever you're using. Um, so again, this is a really great tool if you have an image uh, in which the colors you really, really like. I actually just discovered this one recently and I'm really stoked on it. I plan on using it definitely in the future especially like when I shoot some photos of like different fall colors. I feel like you can get some really nice color palettes from this. That's pretty much it for Canva. It's pretty easy to use and again, a really awesome tool for you to generate color palettes maybe based on a specific image. So the next one we'll take a look at is Color Hunt. Color Hunt's really nice. Again, if you don't really know the direction that you're going, it can kind of give you a ton of inspiration all in one spot. So say we really like this color palette, all you have to do is click on image download and it'll download a PNG, which you can open up in Adobe Illustrator, or again, Photoshop, whatever design program you're using, and then pull the color values with the eyedropper tool, uh, or else if you want to just type in the actual hex value, you can uh, just type it into your color selector. Okay, now that we've taken a look at Color Hunt, let's move on to uh, color.adobe.com. So this is Adobe's version of a uh, color palette generator. And again, I think it's a very useful tool. All of these are kind of, you know, have their own use cases, um, but this is a really great one if you're looking to generate a specific type of color palette. So say you really want like a monochromatic color palette, you can actually select that and it'll help you generate a palette uh, within those specifications. Maybe we want to go with like a blue monochrome and then from here you can adjust a bunch of different values uh, like the saturation, the Kelvin of the color, um, and the RGB values. So it's a super helpful tool if you're trying to do something really specific within uh, you know a certain set of color palettes. Let's so say a client really wants you to use uh, an analogous color palette. Uh, it's easy to generate those pretty quickly with color.adobe.com. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, it would be awesome if you'd leave a like below for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're interested in more content like this, it would be awesome if you'd subscribe to the channel as well. And feel free to leave any questions below that you have in the comment. I'm pretty responsive on here, and I can usually get back to people within a few hours. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.